isn't just for show. It'd be tough to argue he's anything but one of the game's best players. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Standing in, Rogers Hornsby. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Trout has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Forrest Whitley. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The pitcher. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. David Ortiz is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Now so they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left handed hitter due up and he lays off for ball one. And it's one and two. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jimmy Rollins has got a hit in three at bats to this point. One and oh, the count. High in the air down the right field line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Walker is under it and he makes Ladies the catch for out number three. For the traditional Democratic threat. Edwin Diaz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Leading off the inning, Babe Ruth, and they'll need him to get something going here. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. 2-2. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. Yeah, well down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. First pitch of the at bat. George Springer is in for the third time here as he watches one that misses low. It's a ball and no strikes. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 2-2. Two two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Jim Tomey stands in as he looks at ball one here. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike. too far in ball two a hey, time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base and yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side as he arrives at second without a play as they also push across his score to make it a one run game Raleigh fingers
comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Chris Bryant will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 17. So now to the plate, Michael Young. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Harper is there. Let's see if they try it. And with one out, he won't risk it. And the tying run is forced to hold on at third base. Digging it in to try it again. Cody Bellinger. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Nolan Jones will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Ball one. And this could be an at-bat to look back on when this one's all said and done. Tying run at third, but a double play would end the inning. He takes one off the inside corner for ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And when in doubt, he'll just step off and bluff that runner back to third. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Sinker, three and two now. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it, and it's in time to get him. But they are able to tie it up late here as a run score on the play. Fingers is ready. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a line drive, and he's given him the lead, and maybe more than that. They'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second. Now a 5-3 game. At the plate, Larry Walker. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. So far, two for three in this one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that... And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs... Your attention, please. So a new pitcher is set to take over now, and here he is, the fireballing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 0-1 on its way. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Walker moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. The first so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Babe Ruth. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. Behind 0-2 now. Now a check swing. Did he go around? No, says Kenny Jansen. It's ball one. A one-two pitch. One out, nobody on. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Now battle. So striding forward now. Chris Bryant. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning.
Riding into the box, Larry Walker. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. And a step off. Aroldis Chapman is on to. Pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Mike Trout is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now at the plate, Rogers Hornsby. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he'll lay off a first pitch sinker, missing down and in for a ball. 1 and 0. This one skied out toward right. Harper is there. Two down. Now at the plate, Babe Ruth. He doubled earlier and carries a 2 for 2 line into this appearance. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Still no balls and two strikes. Ready with the 0-2. This is on the ground over the first. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So leading off four floors, the right field. Right. Her, 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 her. From the stretch. Here we go with Nobody inning number goes. nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's missing like he is. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Mariano now Rivera back. comes out of the bullpen to shut things Robinson. down here in the ninth. To the plate You're now, Robinson Cano. Now a swing and a shot hit Mariano. down the corner. Rivera. And a big sigh of... on the mound is that nearly tied it but this ball is foul and that misses one and one nobody out runner on first on he pops it up Rivera is calling for it one down Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mel Gibson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in a box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Gary Sheffield will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Your attention, please. Tim Kittick, Gary Sheffield. Soft grounder left side. On to first, and that's your ball game. 
on paper, this one was very evenly matched as we had two wild card division teams going at it. It's always rewarding to beat a team that's had some similar success. So I think they have to feel pretty good about themselves right now. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. The Tides put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Jake McGee.